Assalamu alaikum how are you all i hope everybody is doing well i'm here with another exciting episode of english language practice today i would like to tell you all that language practice comes with speaking talking conversing and communicating and most simply putting it like using english in the real life setting so i'm speaking english for you people and free of cost yeah this is free of cost before moving forward i would like you to stay connected and be with me till the end of this course because at the end of this course you are going to feel yourself that you are now expert in speaking english and conversing with other people in english so this is free of cost offer so before um skipping the video or going somewhere else or going without watching it or without subscribing it it's going to cause you a great loss so without losing your uh, like benefits come here and join me this is second session and today we are going to talk about personal pronouns the very important things in any language because we almost most of the time talk about our own self or the other people around the personal pronoun that we talk about may be categorized as i we they you he she it or any names of the people that we have around when i am talking about my own self i would use the subject or the pronoun i when i address the person talking to me the person sitting next to me or the person whom i am addressing i would use you that i am a girl i am a teacher i am a tutor i like to garden i like to stroll in the evening i like to go there i am very good at makeup oh are you crazy about this so i am using i for my own self and you for the next person whom i am talking you are the best teacher in the world you are a good listener you are watching this video you are the best listener next if i talk about i for myself and for the person next to me that may accumulatively called as we you and i when combined together and talked like we also like to teach you and me we are the people who are desirous of learning new things we are good at teaching we are good at listening we are uh, friends we are teacher and student we are at a way uh, at a journey to learn new things next when we talk about our family friends the people around or absent for example if i am talking about my family my sisters and brothers i would say they are my family they are very good to me they live in my neighbor they live in the same village they are quite good people when i talk about the people or when the people are absent around me i would use they when i i am talking about any girl i would use you she and when i am talking about any boy i'll use he and i'm when i am talking about any object or non living thing i would use it then there is another pillar of english language speaking or any language that is verb any sentence cannot utter its meaning without verb yeah this is correct because there is no speech when there is no verb i go there you come here they live here i am good at singing she eats a lot they are my friends whether the verbs would be helping verb or that would be main verb but the my statement is true that no sentence can be made or structured without a verb verb are actions uh words that per, that are performatives that are actions or that that describe what we do on daily basis what are we intend to do what are our actions so they are described by word verbs and it is very much necessary to learn for us to verb for english language speaking verbs may be categorized as main verbs or helping verbs first i would like to make clear about 
main verbs main verbs can be um like can have in three forms first second and third most commonly taught or studied in our classes like eat ate eaten go went gone and like this live lived lived the first form that presents the present tense and that is uh, you know called present and the second form that is in second ate lived went this is called past and usually used in past tenses third is past participle that uh, is uh, categorized as third form of the verb for example lived eaten gone speak spoke spoken in this way and it is mostly used with has have and had then we have helping verbs there are helping verbs like is am are has have had was were and there are also modal verbs can could may might shall should will would it is necessary to grasp the idea of main verbs helping verbs modal verbs and auxiliary verbs as well to get a grasp over speaking english and using the correct forms of verbs it is not easy to you know capture all the details in 7 or 11 minutes videos i just make short videos because nowadays people have short time and they are used to see small uh, span time or little they can